75 million albums and has just won about every award you can possibly win. Her latest project is a documentary called Dear Mom, Love Cher, here with her mother, Georgia. Please welcome Cher. <laughs> She wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So yes, that's for true. both of you. Right. And also, what a fascinating story this is. I watched it last night, and it's really amazing. I don't know that that it, uh, many people know your entire story, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first, I want to find out. Cher is. Uh, did you know that Cher was going to be Cher when she was a little kid? Was she? Was she? Was she bad? No. <laughs> not really. No, not until she got to be about fourteen. Uh, <clears throat> When she was uh, 11, she started signing her signature, like, like, autograph, my autograph, like, right. like now, like she does now. I practice my autograph, too. Hey, girl. I, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. That's hilarious. But you weren't Cher. You were Sherilyn. Sherilyn. No, but that, ho, oh, ho, oh. She, oh, oh. she, yeah. Sherilyn was when I was really in trouble, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. when I was about to be in, like, major trouble, it was Sherilyn. The, no one ever called me anything but Cher. Really? Yeah. Did you think when you were a little girl, and I, and I watched it, and I know you said, I'm going to, you know, get out of the situation, and you, you put yourself in a lot of um, really difficult times because you, you thought, I am not going to live this way, I refuse to live this way, no matter how hard it is, I'm going to raise my children on my own. And uh, it's amazing what you went through because it's difficult enough to raise a kid now on your own, but back then it must have been really hard. It was. It was. But you don't think about it. You do it. But you were so strong. I mean, I think a lot of people don't know you. You had you were a singer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you started singing in uh, bars, so, bars on, on top saloons. of bars on saloons. Saloons. Yeah. saloons in the old days. I was little, seven and eight. Seven and eight. You were singing in saloons because mm -hmm. Paper Moon sort of was your story. You said, right? <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you got a big break on I Love Lucy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Lucy liked me. I worked for her on and off for about ten years. And I actually remember those episodes that you show yeah, in the documentary, because yes, yeah. I used to watch that all the time, needless yeah. to say. And uh, and then you were going to be in a movie, and then at the last minute they ca they cast someone named Marilyn Monroe. That's true. <laughs> she stole your career right, yes. right out from under you. I'm glad she did. Yeah. yeah. And and then when you were you aware that she was this cool when you were younger? Oh God, yeah. I used to. Oh, this is so great. I don't. You probably don't have any pictures of her when she was young, but. They used to have like mother daughter days, or like when your you know your mother would come for certain movies or well, whatever. And I used to think when she would come, I used to think, oh yes, she's the coolest one here. Everyone else looks like Betty Furness, and my mom looks like this hot chick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were hot. You were yeah. very hot, and you look amazing now. You're you're about to turn eighty seven. Is 87, that right? Yeah. Wow. see where that comes from. You have good genes. Yes. You both look amazing. Now, when she met Sonny, you were how old? You were... Well, I met Sonny when I was 16, and I told him that I was 18. And how old was he? He was, he was 11 and a half years older than me. All right. So you do the math, babe. 28. Right. So he's 28, you're 16, and what did you think when you met Sonny? She didn't know. This is what she told me. I'm going to speak for your mother. Okay. Um, in those days, you didn't live with people right. at all ever so you married them my father right so Way so my grandfather said that you know you don't do that so truthfully she only has had eight boyfriends right right because you you would have just had boyfriends and been married once probably or right. not at all right had you been able to live with people first that's true yeah that's true but are you happy that you married those people <laughs> way 
too long. All right, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll be back with Cher and Georgia.